Israel's military released video footage on Sunday, claiming to reveal an extensive Hezbollah underground compound unearthed by troops in southern Lebanon. The Israel Defense Forces, IDF, reported discovering a network of tunnels, rooms, and arms storage facilities concealed beneath a cemetery, calling it a significant threat to Israel's security. The compound, according to an IDF statement on Telegram, included command centers, living quarters, and weapons caches stocked with combat equipment ready for cross-border incursions into Israel. The IDF indicated the facility was strategically built for infiltration and intelligence gathering, underscoring the potential threat posed by Hezbollah's underground infrastructure. A specialized Shaldag unit engaged in operations in the area discovered tunnel shafts that led to the full exposure of the network. Upon entering, the IDF noted the sophisticated design and readiness of the compound, which they said was constructed to sustain long-term activity. The network was subsequently dismantled, and IDF engineers filled the tunnels with approximately 4,500 cubic meters of concrete using hundreds of trucks and mixers. In a parallel operation, the IDF announced that the Israeli Air Force, IAF, conducted a precision strike in the Gaza Strip, targeting and killing Muhammad Abu Sakil, a senior operative within the Islamic Jihad organization. Abu Sakil, reportedly responsible for orchestrating attacks against Israeli forces and coordinating with Hamas, was located in a command post embedded within a former school compound in northern Gaza. Israel's military described Abu Sakil as a significant figure in Islamic Jihad's planning and operations. The IAF strike utilized advanced targeting measures to minimize civilian casualties, the IDF reported, citing aerial surveillance and precision munitions as part of the mission's protocol. These operations underscore Israel's ongoing campaign to dismantle what it describes as hostile militant infrastructures along its borders. The IDF has intensified both its surveillance and targeted strikes in Lebanon and Gaza, aiming to curtail militant activity that it views as a direct threat to Israeli security.